A dark day for Remploy workers in the northeast as they take to picket lines to protest at government plans to close 27 loss-making factories in the UK. The government say they can spend the money allocated to Remploy better and it's left some Remploy workers wondering if they'll ever work again. What's happening is absolutely disgusting. They've, uh, the union put a good plan in for the next five years for Remploy to continue under Remploy. It's for disabled people They'll never ever, I'm not bothered what people say, they'll never ever get a job anywhere else. They'll never be looked after like they are in here. And the companies are shocked at with, and the government, and the DWP, for want of a better word. With the Ashton site one of the 27 expected to close, those affected have been encouraged by the support they've had from the public. It's been really good, uh, the support. Uh, actually, I was surprised myself to see the support we're getting. We're fighting for our factories to stop open, right? But that is another 20,000 disabled employees, and especially in Ashton, around the Ashton area, and around Newcastle area, you know. And this is why I believe these factories should stay open, you know, for these people. You know, they'll always be disabled people. Some, some will never get a meal again. They come here, it's like home from home, they come in, any meal of the day they get here, they've got to go canteen here, they get fed here, they might not feed themselves at home. They're, the canteen staff, Rosie, she gives them a meal again at night, like whatever's left, sandwich or something, because they can't look after themselves. They would never get a job. I may be alright. Uh, somebody might say to me, oh, that's not my way, I'll give him a job. Fair dues. But there's people out there, they'll never ever work again. Chris Conway, News Post Leader TV, Ashington.